Let's create a ramp leading to one of the entrances to our structure. In order to do this, we need to first go to our first floor plan view. So, one dash first floor. Next, let's go ahead and zoom in right here between our grid lines A and B. And where I'd like to draw this ramp in is going to be right about where my arrow is pointing here on the screen. So, the next thing we're going to need to do is come up here on the ribbon, select the Architecture tab if it isn't selected already, move over, and then select the Ramp tool. Once you click on Ramp, we need to take a look at its properties. So, move over here to the left-hand side, take a look at Properties for Ramp. Now, one of the first things that I'm seeing is that right now it's set to go from the first level up to the second level, or the second floor. And we don't want a ramp that's going to be 700 feet long, so uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to adjust these settings. What we wanted this to say is that for the top level, we're going to want this to be first floor. For the base level, it can still be first floor, but we just want a real subtle, short little ramp. So we're going to make this base offset be negative 8 inches. Basically, it's just enough to be able to step out the door, go down the ramp, and then get down to the ground level. Whenever you have that negative 8 inches set, feel free to just click somewhere out here in space or just move your mouse out here. It'll automatically set those properties. Also, I want to point out that if we come down here on the list, you'll see such things as up text, down text, a couple of little check marks here, as well as width. Now, all these happen to be properties that are going to affect the end display of how this ramp is going to look when it comes time to print it. Also, when we're dealing with such things as width, that's going to affect what the overall width, obviously, of what the ramp will be. In this case, we want a four foot wide ramp. So go ahead and click in there where it has three foot and change this to be four feet. Now, the next thing we should do is move over into the drawing area and start to draw in where we want our ramp location to be. Now, make sure this says Run. It should by default, but if for some reason it doesn't, just click on Run. And then click right about where I'm clicking at here. We can always adjust it after the fact if it needs moved. Move over to your left-hand side, and just go until the ramp basically just stops drawing itself, and then kind of click out here in space. Once you get to this point, that's pretty much the ramp. All we have to do is come up here to the big green check mark in order to theoretically be able to finish it off. Now I do say theoretically, and the reason is, is I could tell that something was going to be wrong with the way that the ramp looks. If I select back on it again, I can see an arrow that shows up right here. And what this arrow tells me is the direction that the ramp is currently trying to slope. What this means is if we take a look at this in a 3D view, and now I'm going to spin the building around to be able to see the ramp on the back side. Okay. Right now we're not seeing the ramp, but what that means is it's just shut off in the visibility graphics. So all we have to do is either type the letter V twice, or here at visibility graphics, click the edit button. Once you've done that, we can come in here and we can take a look for our ramp. And sure enough, ramp doesn't have a little check mark next to it. No check mark means you can't see it. So once we put a check mark there in that box, you can come over here and click on OK. And now here's that little ramp that we just placed. Now, one of the problems with that ramp, if I spin it around, we can see it. As we can see, it's currently kind of going up in the air, which isn't what we want. And that's what that arrow was trying to indicate to us, is that this whole ramp is just trying to go up in the air. So what we need to do is go back into our first floor plan select back on the ramp, and that little arrow there, you can click on it too. And if you click on it, we can now see that it's going down. So if we take a look back in that 3D view again, we can now see that the ramp is sloping itself down. Now one other thing that's interesting about this ramp, and you may or may not want it this way, is right now it's just showing the thickness of the ramp. It's not actually making it so it's like a sloped concrete pour. What this is, is just a ramp that has a certain thickness to it. What I'd really like to see with a ramp like this is that the entire thing is just poured concrete and it's a flat base and it's touching the ground. So in order to be able to achieve that, we want to go ahead and select on the ramp again. And this time we're going to come over here to Edit Type and click on Edit Type. 
Once we do that, we can see a few of the properties that are also associated with this ramp. Now, one of the things is the thickness, and the reason why it displays the way that it does right now is because the thickness is listed as being three inches in thickness. We can also see what the maximum length of this ramp was going to be allowed in the properties, as well as what the slope on this ramp was going to be. You obviously don't want to have a slope that's too steep, or else you're going to have issues with ADA access sort of regulations. What those regulations cover is, is that you have to be able to have a certain slope in order to be able to go up the ramp safely. The other thing to know is that right underneath that ramp and the maximum slope is there's this option here called shape. And right now it's trying to lock itself to that thickness, which shows up here at the top, the three inches. What we really wanted to do is just be a solid ramp. And if we click on apply to that, we can now see it has this nice little triangular shape. It's flat on the bottom, so it can just be flush with the grade down there uh, along the earth, right? So once we have that in place, you can click on OK. I'm going to zoom out a bit, spin this around, and we can see that the ramp is in the right location. It has that classic triangular shape, and it's essentially just a concrete pour ramp sitting there where it needs to be. Ramps are actually quick and easy to use. We just need to pay attention to such things as their thickness and their direction based on that arrow when we are placing them.